friends, Kim from Stamping Imperfection. Thank you for joining me today. I'm here with a video for the Hedgehog Hollow subscription box, and this is for the May box. This is a music theme. You can see I have two stamp sets there, Music Speaks and Chin Up Buttercup, and these are fantastic. They're just so much fun. There are two stencils here. One is a guitar. You get the positive and negative of that, and then, of course, the piano keyboard. You get the two pieces to that. There are two packages of die-cut ephemera, and the most wonderful thing about this ephemera First of all, there's 56 pieces altogether, but these pieces are foilable. And um, you could stack them if you wanted to, but I actually am using them separately, so I get all 56 pieces. Now, Maker Forte has some sentiment sets, some sentiment papers that are foilable. This is the All Season Sentiment set, and you can see I've been using that a lot. And then they have these monthly simple sayings sets that come out and they have a theme like just because or new home, happy birthday, things like that. And they're pretty fabulous. So they're cut apart sentiments and they are foilable. So one of the things I definitely want to play with today is foiling those. And I love, like I'm so intrigued by that piano keyboard stencil, I definitely want to use that. So I'm going to do kind of a different project today. I'm going to do a traveler's notebook layout. And over the past year, I've absolutely fallen in love with traveler's notebooks. As soon as I saw these two packages of ephemera, I, I knew I had to make some traveler's notebook pages. That's a layout that I made um, this past weekend with Lael Konkar. I've been watching her Saturday Lives and um, doing a lot of list making because I personally am at that stage in my life where my kids are grown out on their own. They're in their late 20s. Um, so, you know, I'm not taking a bunch of pictures of kids. So you can see the pictures I'm taking are of me, my husband, things that are happening. Sometimes I print pictures off um, the internet and use them to tell the story that I want to tell. And the Traveler's Notebook is a nice size to actually document the story of what you you are up to. Um, whether you want to do it daily or I mostly do it seasonally. Like this was my first Traveler's Notebook and you can see I was trying to, I was working on making interactive pages and, you know, making lists of things like my favorite author and um, you know, my favorite, uh, I have some Halloween stuff. That's my daughter, the day she got her PhD and my favorite Halloween movies and things like that. So I, you know, I've got one for, I started doing monthly ones because I was trying to do a layout a day in February and I started using sketches for my layouts to keep my layouts really organized and maybe not so random. And um, so I'm using sketches that I can find online and then um, interpret my own way. And I just, I'm just having a lot of fun with it. This is the winter one that I did. I had a little trouble with the winter one because I'm using winter paper while living in Florida. So I'm taking pictures of my husband kayaking from our dock down the canal and I'm using snowflake paper. So that just, it's weird, you know, it's just weird. But so I'm playing around with different techniques. I'm just learning um, about, you know, how I want to do my traveler's notebooks and they're evolving. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So that's what I'm going to do. This was um, an idea from Lail Konkar um, about, about last month. So that was the title of it. And, you know, the major things that happened last month, because I, I can't do a daily thing. So I decided I wanted to do a piano keyboard. So I pulled out the um, stencil that will do the white keys. And I'm using the clear embossing powder. And you can see I already tried using white ink and I didn't love the results. I got, I think my white ink pad just needed to be re-inked, so I need to get a re-inker for it. So I decided I would go with the Maker Forte Kaleidoscope powder that I got in um, like two boxes ago. And I think it's, this is the Mercury one. It's so pretty when 
um, I put it on because it goes from like it looks white in the container but it's got this really pretty pink color so I'm really liking it and you can see I'm using the little brush that goes that they have to go with it so I inked up part of it and tested it out and then I'm gonna ink up the rest of it and this again is the color hive clear ink from maker forte and I just sponge it on when I use it through stencils and it works actually very well so um, I I have re-inked that once I use that ink pad so much that I have had to ink uh, re-ink it once already so that's how much I use that ink pad so and um, I I think I re-inked my black one too and I've only had them a couple of months so I use the sweeper tool to clean it up and I'm going to use my trimmer to trim this down and I really like the way that turned out I'm going to give it a little spritz with um, uh, some hairspray and just wave it around and let it dry quickly and you can use water or hairspray so you just want to set the powder and then I'm just trimming off the edges and trimming it down to a size that hopefully will work in my little traveler's notebook now I'm gonna pull out a new traveler's notebook because I um, I'm ready to start one for May so I'm just going to make this the at the beginning of my May page and I have a whole bunch of travelers notebooks that I got on clearance somewhere along the line I was gonna make use use them for gifts but ended up not doing that because work got really busy life happens right so I cut this down and I'm just editing it with some adhesive on the edge of um, the right hand side there and I like the way that looks and um, I'm gonna go I will go back and decorate that cover by the way and I I'm gonna do a floral cover with one of the Alex Siberia stamp sets from Maker Forte so I'm pulling out some things I think I might use I'm looking through my bin of washi tape I truly wish I could say this was all the washi tape I had but I would be lying so I can't lie like that is that is the current washi tape that I've gotten in the last six months so you know I don't know how washi tape builds up how does that happen like you really have to use a roll a lot to use a roll up have you ever used a whole roll of washi tape it's hard to do like literally you have to use it every day for like months before you use up a roll so I just pulled out a this thin like it's a pink peach color because I felt like it worked well with the the kaleidoscope powder I used so I love the um, I believe that's a treble clef it's been a long time but I believe it's a treble clef with this quote on it so I'm I pulled that out and I'm going to stamp that in the upper corner of that page with the piano keyboard and I think this is really beautiful and I'm using again the color hive eclipse blank black ink and it says where words fail music speaks and I've found that to be true a lot of times myself so I want to make another piece because another one of the stamps I loved on this was the heartbeat stamp with the notes in the treble clef I thought that was a fantastic stamp so I'm gonna do the same thing with the kaleidoscope powder on this one so I just sort of eyeballed how wide I need this to be and then I'm gonna put it in my misty and stamp it with that clear color hive embossing ink and I'll stamp it twice so it covers that whole piece and I can trim off the excess if I need to when I put it down I do put a little adhesive on the back um, like this is really temporary adhesive or it's supposed to be I don't think it's as temporary as I think it is because when I go to move it it's really stuck to that paper so I just moved the stamp and I'll it, it connects nicely so you could line this up and do like a whole 12 inch scrapbook strip if you wanted to um, this way and that is definitely stuck to that paper so I'll be ripping that off in a minute um, but I'm going to use that same kaleidoscope 
and I'm pretty certain it's mercury. And I just love this. I love this sparkle. You get that little sheen and that little sparkle and it shows up pretty nicely considering it's, you know, just powder. It's like a little puff of powder. It's so pretty. So now I'm going to sweep that clean and then pull it off that paper and trim it down a tiny bit because it's a little wider than I would like it to be. And uh, I will actually attach it to the page and then trim the edge the way I need to. But I'm just using my trimmer. I actually like this trimmer a lot because there is a wire in there. So you can put the wire exactly where you want to um, cut and so you can see exactly where the cut is going to go because the where the wire is is where the blade will go so I like that it's a Fiskars trimmer and um, it's it's just really nice like I do a better job cutting small sentiments and things and getting them straight with this trimmer so although I also like the Tim Holtz that little guillotine trimmer so I'm going to add washi tape to the top and bottom of this. And I am working with a sketch. There, there is a ch sketch, there's a Traveler's Notebook Challenge out there. Um, tea End Time with Lisa and Lori, I think it's called. And it, they do a monthly sketch and a monthly challenge. And the So I'm working with their sketch and um, the challenge was to use pink, which is why, one of the reasons why I was looking for like a pink washi tape and I'll use some pink cardstock. So I'm, I want to actually, I, I want to foil some pieces here. So I pulled out the cellos or these are probably violins really. They're going to be cellos on my page. And one of the swirled musical staves, I think these, this comes out so gorgeous. And I pulled some foil out of my stash. This is deco foil, and I believe it's called Summer Rainbow. Now, I you can see I have a very inexpensive 3M Scotch um, laminator that was probably around 20 bucks, and um, I no doubt got it at a back to school sale. I have it turned on because it takes about 10 minutes to warm up, and the light will say it come on under the word ready when it's ready. So you can see I put the pretty foil side down and then I put the die cut ephemera pieces with the black laser ink side down on the back of that. So um, just so I can keep them in place. So you want that that laser ink part to be on the back side of the foil and then I'm putting it in a piece of folded parchment paper and I'm using parchment paper because it's heat resistant and I did have some in my kitchen. I do bake with it and I, I send it through my laminator with the fold side first. If you don't have parchment paper, plain copy paper works just fine. I've used that many times before. So isn't that pretty? You just peel it off. It's done. Now I do not throw that piece of paper away because somebody suggested use that foil for a shaker card and that seemed like a really great idea so like I will someday use all those pieces of foil for shaker cards for sure so I cut down a bunch of pieces of paper that I want to use I have this really pretty bubble gum and then this gorgeous metallic um, I think it's a metallic slate from the Maker Forte shop and I had to use it it, I started using, this is a picture of my daughter, and it, it wasn't very bright because high school auditoriums are super dark, and this is like the county music festival. And um, so I took a photo with my phone of the original picture, and then I used my photo, like the editing um, stuff on my phone, cropped the photo and then made it black and white because I thought that would work really well with this page 
and then you wouldn't notice that the picture was terrible because I probably took it with a 110 pocket Instamatic and I'm not going to lie about that. That's how old this picture is. Um, so I'm adding a strip of black cardstock because the sketch I'm using called for that. I believe this is the April 21, 2021 sketch. So I, I have a little rectangle of that really pretty bubblegum pink. I'm popping up what should be the top of the photo with two little foam dots. Those are Thermoweb foam dots, by the way. And um, they're nice thick dots. I have a couple different sizes and you saw I had a little rectangular piece of that um, metallic slate there that I used my corner rounder. How long has it been since you've done that? So I'm popping what I'm using as the cello up on some foam dots and I'm just placing that next to the picture. So now I'll work on the piece for the other side. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just going to trim down this white piece and create a little tag. And again, using my corner rounder, I'm going to pull out my very my dollar store hole punch and make a little tag, and that's where my journaling is going to go. So I'll put that piece of that metallic down. I love that. I'll just give that a jaunty little tilt. I'm going to add a little strip of that bubblegum pink paper, and the second piece of ephemera will get popped up on some foam. And... I will add my journaling after this before I'm done. I'm probably searching my, for my phone. Do you do this? You put stuff down and you can't find it. And I'm just making sure that those two, um, those two cellos are not going to like rub against each other because that will take the foil off. It's very easy to scratch that foil. And, um, so one is on the outside, one's on the inside, when I close it, and then that gorgeous, oh my gosh, you can't really see the foil on this very well from this video, but in person on that, like the music notes and the staff and the treble clef, it is just stunning. So um, I really like the variegated foils because you don't you never know what you're getting there and if I had just tipped it just right you would have seen the foil a little bit better but that completes my layout I'm, I will put links below to the stuff that I used although most of it came from the actually most of it came from the Hedgehog Hollow May kit I'll put a link to this the subscription boxes I'd love it if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel while you're here click that bell to get notifications every time I upload a new video Thank you so much for watching, friends. Have a wonderful day.